So I've watched the Umbra trailer, or Guava, whatever you call it these days. Um, it, uh, I've watched the cinematic trailer at 0.25x speed 20 times. I've watched uh, the normal just trailer in itself 20 times. And I found a couple of details that I think you guys would want to know. Uh, we have indications of uh, Guava's uh, ability. Sorry, not ability. We already know that. Guava's passive. Uh, he, what uh, type of pistol he will use. Um, different things about Shaq during that trailer, uh, and a potential new rogue that was leaked during that trailer. Alright, so, uh, let's get to it. Let's start out with, uh, we're going, we will talk about the rogue towards the end, so, yeah. But, uh, yeah, alright, so, uh, let's get started. Many people were complaining. Shaq's aim, what's up with that? The dude's running right at Well, I'll play this in 0.25x speed, and I'll explain why uh, Umbra's, um, like, you know, Umbra managed to survive. And the fact boils down to his eye, or his eye patch, or whatever you call it these days, right? As you can see, it glowed yellow just before Chak shot. That indicates that probably he was analyzing Chak, he's like, okay, this is where he's gonna shoot first, I'll move. And then if I'm playing, I'm playing the rest right now, uh, as you can see, um, Umbra's dodging all those shots. So, he's clearly using his eye as a sort of reflex to dodge all the shots. So, it's not necessarily Chuck's fault. I mean, the dude's running straight at him, so, yeah. The next thing uh, the next thing that I've seen uh, ties in with the fact that many of you were also complaining that Umbra just beat Chuck uh, with his bare fists, uh, and Chuck shouldn't, like, lose to that, considering, like, he's supposed to be a vigilante who fights crime uh, with his fists as well. But, you can actually see, uh, as I'll play that again, Chuck actually went to block the, the actual kick, right? But the kick just wrapped around him there, so he, he ultimately got beaten there, but, I mean, what else can he do, right? Uh, the kick wrapped around him, and there, there was pretty much nothing that he could uh, do to stop that. Uh, okay, so the next thing uh, is that Glitch, when he tried to hack, um, when he tried to hack uh, Guava, or Umbra, I've got to keep calling him uh, Umbra now these days, uh, it actually says File 404 error. Now, for many people, many people pointed this out, but I wanted to point this out as well. File 404 means that file not found, as in there's an error, we cannot find the file that you're looking for. This is basically a glitch, it's like, okay, I need to find this dude's file and hack him, right? 404 error means that, you know, we can't actually find, and that's why glitch is like, what is that, right? Like, I should be able to, to counter this. This is, this is extremely important, because that indicates his passive, and many people have indicated this as well. This, this indicates his passive. Considering the buffs to C4, it, sorry, not C4, considering the buffs to EMPs, uh, now uh, working with duration-based uh, things, uh, it seems very, very likely that that would be something that uh, would make a passive, considering the passive would be a lot more viable than, uh, you know, something else. Uh, Alright. And the last, last main thing uh, is a potential new rogue that was leaked, and we have solid evidence. I'm pulling up a screenshot for you guys right now. Here it is. You see it? Do I need to point it out again? So this, uh, before we get started, I want to credit Sandwich Derp for this. Uh, Sandwich Derp, uh, he left a comment talking about why is there a ghost lady uh, behind Guava. I was like, what? And then he's like, yeah, yeah, just scroll to, scroll to, uh, number 32, uh, as in, or oh, seconds, number 32, and you'll find him, right? I look there, I'm looking hard, I'm like, oh, why can't I see the ghost lady? And then I see, it. it's behind Guava, just a bit to the left, as you can see, there's a ghost lady, uh, there. Now, is that a new rogue? Well, we're currently being set in a graveyard, so it could be an evil spirit. But Rogue Company has stayed pretty grounded to the fact that, uh, you know, it's pretty grounded to real life. And I've heard that many people wanted an optical camo like Rogue. We have one! Right here! Behind Guava, can you not see him? That is the indication, right there. If you if you even want to go look at the trailer again, you'll see the person moving. It's not like a bit of light or something. You'll see the person walking down the steps, right? It's a girl. It looks like a girl. I, I don't mean to be sexist, but it, 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 it looks like a girl. I'm being serious. So... A, this could be the female rogue, considering we usually have a male and a female rogue released, uh, you know, on, uh, 
in the same season. We have a male and female rogue, right? So the female rogue will be the one that can turn invisible. So it makes sense, right? It makes sense. Many of you want invisible rogue. Skokani, I don't, as, as far as I know, hasn't said anything about it. But we have one right here. Could this be an evil spirit? Definitely. It could be an evil spirit by all means. But could it be an optical camo rogue? I'm putting my bet on the optical camo rogue. But anyway, guys, I'm uploading daily rogue company content. Uh, and I don't want you guys to miss it. I'm doing educational videos, leaks like this, uh, analysis like this, and gameplay, and some other things like that. I do a wide variety of rogue company content. See you guys all tomorrow because I'm uploading daily. See you guys all tomorrow. Bye-bye.